Hello. Today I'm doing a uh, safe review on Liberty Safe um, Centurion, I think is how you say it. Uh, I just bought this safe on Saturday. This is my first safe purchase, um, and I'm really happy with it so far. You know, I've only had it for a few days, but you know, it does what I need it to do, so that's all I can ask for. Um, I will go over some specs. Um, like I said, this is the Centurion. This is a 24 um, long gun safe. Uh, this is made in the USA, which I, I really like. Um, like I said, holds up to 24 long guns. Um, this is certified for being in a fire for 30 minutes. Um, this is supposed to be, or this is supposed to have six times stronger locking bars, and I'll show you that guys later. Um, I really think it's a cool idea. Um, I think it works. I watched their video, which maybe you should too. Um, but I really enjoyed that um, feature, and I also liked this. This was an upgrade. I was looking at other safes like Liberty Pro Vault as well as some other brands, but Liberty Pro Vault was the other one I was really, really looking at, um, and then I happened to find this one, so I went with this. Uh, but this one came with the door panel and e-lock. So for $100 cheaper, I got this safe, which is basically the same, um, from uh, a view from this safe and the Pro Vault safe, there's not much of a difference. Um, so I went with this one because it had the extra upgrades. So, talking about extra upgrades and why I didn't choose the Pro Vault is because this one was $5.99 originally and then it was on sale by 12%, so it went down to $5.27.99. And then, of course, you know, tax and all that good stuff. Um, so I saved $72 on this safe, which really, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Um, you know, for a college kid, I was happy. Uh, this safe, like I was telling you guys, has this NL lock. Um, I'm not sure if every safe by Liberty Safe has this one. I don't think so, because uh, I've seen, you know, the pictures of others. But the standard code was 1 through 6. Um... And it was really easy to change. The only downfall is, is this didn't come with any instructions, so I didn't know how to, you know, program it. Thank God for YouTube. Um, but all you had to do was press and hold zero, and then put in your current code, and then put in your your new code, whatever you wanted it to be. Um, why I really like this uh, electronic lock is due to the fact that it has a light button. Um, as you can see, it. it beams a red light and so at night you can see what you're doing I know they make aftermarket things that you can put there it's by magnet and then you know press it and there's a red light but this already had it in there so that's really cool I thought that was a good idea um, let me open this quick uh, the only cosmetic thing I don't like is that this handle right here um, you know, I, I kind of like the style where they have the three or the five bars that you, you know, they just look cooler. That's the only reason why I say that, but. All right, so here's the inside. It comes with four shelves in total. Uh, this top one is fixed, so you can't move it, um, which isn't a problem with me. Uh, it does have a cutout in the back, so if you have longer guns, like I have two shotguns that are 28 um, inches long, so those fit fine. Uh, it comes with this. Uh, this is to cover up the other side where you're supposed to put more guns. Uh, this is just a piece of metal with some carpet on there. It does the job. I just put some random ammo there. And then I have two other shelves with, you know, shotgun ammo and pistol ammo. And then down there, you know, I'm just probably going to use for some random storage, you know, if I need to put any other, you know, valuable items, whatnot, which is, you know, it does the job. Right now I have some bipods and a holster and the two clips for the shelves that it came with. Um, here's my guns. Like I was saying, uh, they're, they're, I don't know if it actually will hold the 20, 24 guns. Uh, I have seven in there right now, and it's pretty crammed. As you can see, there's not much room for more. And I tried positioning them different ways to get more to fit, but that's all it would do, which I'm okay with. That's all I needed. I got all my guns in here besides one handgun, so um, I'm happy. This does the job for me. Uh, the only problem I have is, as you can see, it, 
there's my 1022 and it can barely hold on to that so that's why my AR is up here one of my ARs I should say um, it was too short so it would just fall over um, which you know not a big deal because I can break it down and put it there but you know eventually I'll probably put something else here so I'm not trying to you know get another you know a safe or you know move my ammo out of here I'm not really trying to do that um, but yeah let's get to the door panel um, so like I said it came with this free which I think is actually like a $112 purchase on Amazon um, so if you buy it aftermarket and so I have a revolver and a pistol and then I got just a holster and a magazine there right now and then I got some more magazines in those two pouches and then there also is a document holder it is not the cool pouch but that's all right it'll still be better than nothing um, other than that there's not much else I have to say about this safe uh, I really do like it and I'm glad I I made this purchase when I did I'm glad I had to go buy dog food because that's when I found out there was a 12% sale on Saturday so um, other than that like I said uh, it's been a good safe so far and I haven't had any issues um, I'll definitely let everyone know if I do have any issues but if anyone has any questions please let me know in the comments um, and I'm going to be putting the power adapter in here as well as some LED lights so I'll probably do a how-to video on that because I know there's some but there's not very many so I'm just going to show how I do it especially the placement of the LEDs so um, yeah look out for that next month it'll be you know around August 21st uh, maybe a little later I'm not sure because school starting up again so but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions um, or you know if you guys just want to chat I don't care <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe and let me know